All right, guys, it's Friday. Uh, before we go inside work, quick little quick stop right over here. I'll let you know why later on in the video, but let's see what we get ourselves into today. Let's go. So looking over the work orders here, and there was one about the guests couldn't use their key card. It was not working. So I went up there uh, first thing this morning, changed out the batteries, um, and it was still not working. So there is somebody in there. Um, so we're gonna wait till they check out. We're gonna put a brand new lock. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we're also gonna use the black box to initialize the lock and to update it. All right, so that should be a good clip there. And let's see what we got ourselves into. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Love it, Friday, baby. Hotel's jam-packed, by the way. Here we go. All right, guys, before I forget, the reason why I was in Target this morning, so I had to go pick up some shirts and stuff like that because I have an event tomorrow uh, with the family so tomorrow after I get out of work I'm gonna go meet up with the wife at the event should be fun so we're gonna take the camera with us so you can meet the wife and meet the family we're gonna have a good time all right so that's tomorrow's video and right now I'm gonna go have breakfast before I go change this lock I need something I need something in my stomach yeah let's go have breakfast <laughs> Oh. All right, guys. So we, as we, we're gonna waste a little time right now, and um, I'm gonna finish what Joe started here. You can see he textured behind the toilet here because we had water damage. So he did that yesterday. It was overnight. It's nice and dry. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna give it a nice paint. And then the border, we're gonna stick it back on the wall. And I'm gonna show you what I use to stick that back on the wall, okay? So what we use to stick that on the wall, this is the regular caulk that we use. We use the GE silicone. We use this to caulk bathtubs and, and whatnot. But for that, to stick that in, we're gonna use this one. It works very, very well. It's an adhesive, DAP, it's also caulk but this works very well for that, for that job that I'm about to do. First, we're gonna paint the texture that Joe did. As you can see, the white part, so it can match the regular, okay? So we'll paint here and behind the toilet. It's all nice and painted, right there, nice and painted, and right there, nice and painted. So now, we're gonna stick border back on the wall but before we do always clean your stuff okay nice and clean now we put it to dry and now we're let's uh glue that border okay let's go okay so what i did was i cleaned the border out because it was still full of uh texture and stuff so i grabbed the rag just cleaned it out real nice Okay, and now we're gonna put the adhesive behind it and then we're gonna stick it. All right, here we go. Make sure you be generous with it. Make it stick nice in there, it won't come out. This is nothing worse than getting called back for a job that you were supposed to do, you did already. You know what I mean? There's nothing worse than that. All right, guys, so this is the finished product. Right there. That's how it's supposed to look. And also, caught the way back there. Okay, guys, so I'm done with that. Um, it's gonna wait maybe an hour, an hour and a half so it could dry. We'll take the paint can out and then we'll give the room back. So they can have a a brand new room, all right? That room is nice and PM'd. That was the last thing, the, the texture, the paint, and, uh, and to pull the, and to put the border back. Okay, so that's done. Um, it's still early, it's about, let me see. Yeah, it's still early, it's about 10.50. I'm gonna wait past 11, so we can go handle that lock. We gotta replace a lock. 
and there's only one thing in the, in the mop, which a work order, and that's to put a smoke detector back and put a new battery. Cause I guess the guests took it out. There must've been smoking or something in there. So that's why they take it out. No big deal. We'll go do that. And then we'll wait to put the lock. All right. If any, if there's anything in between, I'll let you know. The, the room with the lock, she checked out already. We're about to go do that. But first they called me for this room. Now, the bulb was out, I already changed it. And that the, the shower is leaking. So we're gonna look at it right now, see what we got. <clears throat> so it could be, oh, I see it already. You can see. I'm sure you can see it, that it's leaking here. So it could either be two things. It could be the spout is bad, or we have to replace the cartridge. So first I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change the spout out and see what happens. So I took out the old spout and it's still, it's still leaking, so it's not the spout. I'm gonna have to change out the cartridge. Remove the plate. And besides, I also gotta get a new one, it was cracked. Anyway, so remove the plate. Now, this could be very tricky, guys. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why. Number one, let's take this out. Okay, now it looks like we have a regular cartridge in there, so that's fine. You always gotta make sure you shut off the water. Okay, very important to shut off the water. All right, so right here, we have two shut off valves for the cold and the hot, okay? Sometimes it doesn't work, all right? So we're gonna try it first. If it doesn't work, then we have to shut off the, the main valve. So I shut it off, I shut both of them off, and thank God, they're both off. Okay, spin it around, nothing. First, this is a little pin, pop it off. Okay, be careful you don't drop it down the drain. Put this to the side. All right guys, so I got my main tool here and I already did it halfway. So you just gotta use the tool, screw it in and pull. And there you go. All right, now that's how it looks. That's the cartridge I need to go get. So we'll go get one. Okay, got my new cartridge. All right, it's a different style one, but it'll do. Put it in there, put it all the way in. I like these because they already come oiled up. You know what I mean? So we'll put that in right there. Grab your pin, and you pop that in like so. Give it a little, a nice little, right there. Okay, so the final test is to turn on the shower. All right, the reason why I say turn on the shower is because See the little pin that I showed you earlier? If it's not if it's not put in properly and you hit the diverter, that thing could come flying out like a bat out of hell. And that means it's not secure. All right, so we'll test it out now. Here we go. We run it for a little while. And then she's running good, that's it. You put the cover back in and you're done. On to the next one. Let's go. All right, guys, finally got to the room. I'm gonna change out the lock. This is the new lock. I took it out the bubble wrap. And this is the old lock here. This is the one we're gonna replace. So basically, this is the inside of it. I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna take this out. Okay. So to start off with, we gotta take all these, all these screws out. They're security screws, all right? I just to take the, the handle out and the dub bolt handle out. So now this plate comes out and this is what we see, okay? Now these screws here are regular. So we're gonna go ahead and take those screws out and show you what I got. Oh, and by the way, this little tab 
it comes on. Oh, and we might have, I still see a problem here. This thing was disconnected. So I'm gonna connect it and see what we got. I didn't even notice that. When I took this off, it was disconnected already. Let me see if it works when I connect it, hold on. All right guys, I managed to connect the, the thing, but it's still not working. So the housekeeper is gonna go in there real quick, clean, I don't wanna be in the way when she's cleaning. And then we'll come back, I'm gonna take lunch real quick. Then we'll change that out, okay? Um, managed to catch a breather, I'm at lunchtime right now. It's lunchtime. Um, quick update, uh, it's about, let me tell you, let me see, what time is it? It's 2.50 in the afternoon, and I still haven't changed that lock. Reason being, there's a bunch of stuff to do. A bunch of toilets clogged, a bunch of stuff going, little things, you know, here and there, a bunch of stuff. Also, an inspector came. He wanted to check out the boilers and a couple of rooms, so I had to take them around. So it's been very, very hectic. So finally get some time to breathe. But uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. So as soon as I get out of lunch, we're gonna go and uh, change that lock, all right? I managed to take out the old one. So now this is the new one here. What you do is just put it right there, right between those holes there. And make sure the wire goes that wire goes right through that hole there, okay? So again, just make sure you put it right through here. that hole, the wire, very important. Then you grab your your plate. This is the, the master plate, this is where all the mechanics are and stuff like that, all right? So you grab the wire and you put it in right through that hole there, okay? Put it right through that hole. And then you just latch it on on the other hole. Just hold it behind so it won't fall on you. Oh. Right there, okay? And grab the spring. You put her right there. So the next step is, once you connect it, do not screw anything yet because you gotta take out the black box here and you gotta in initialize the lock. You see right there, initialize. So what you do is you put the room number with the arrows here. And in this case, room 247, I already initialized it. Okay, and now we're gonna give it a test, see if it works. I got a regular room key. I'm not using my master key regular room key, that way you could test it good, okay? So you go over here, and if you hear a click sound, that means it's working good, let's see. There you go. All right, so I put all the screws in, right here, right here, right here, right here, that's all it needs. Those are regular screws. So you don't wanna have this much slack on the wire, so you just tuck it in as much as you can in the hole. And then you're gonna have problems putting the the cap back in. So, you know, just tuck it in there as much as you can. It'll be out the way. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Okay guys, so you got the handle and the deadbolt handle and you got these security screws right here. And the screwdriver I'm using is a T10. You put it in there, it's magnetic. And you screw the handle in and the deadbolt. I got the other handle on the other side. And now for the final test, let's test out the deadbolt and everything, okay? See if she opens good. All right. Deadbolt is good. Opens up. Let's see in the front. Perfect. All right, guys, this is going to be the last clip of the video. I want to thank everybody for watching. Make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, tell a friend to tell a friend about our videos. And also, I will be talking about 
my first experience changing out our cartridge. It was not pretty, all right? And also, tomorrow, we're also gonna talk about this pool and why it's out of order, all right? Thanks for watching, subscribe. Peace, zoom out.